What's going on guys? So as you guys asked in the last video where Bo was, he's sleeping. He works nights right now. So he's not here all the time. Anyways, I got Ted over and uh, we're working on the truck. We're trying to get the tune dialed so that we can go for a little ride, start breaking this thing in. We had it idling pretty good. Uh, I guess it'd be about three weeks ago now. And then I, I put the new turbo on, I finished the exhaust, um, finished the intercooler piping, fixed all the leaks, got the alternator on, power steering on, got all this stuff done. Now the truck doesn't want to idle again. We're not real sure why. So that's what we are dealing with. But here it is. Everything looks good. I got the wastegate hooked up now. Um, inside, Ted's got his computer and we got everything kind of going in here. I probably need to hook up the battery charger. It's a little low. The alternator is working. It's charging. It's come on camera, this thing. Um, the alternator is charging at like 14.5, 14.7, which is perfect. It's a touch high, but it's not, it's not anything that the battery can't handle. So we're just gonna leave it be. So anyways, um, we need to check fuel pressure. We need to check quite a few things and get all this stuff squared away so we know we're in good shape. Um, so that's what we're doing. All right, guys, so more issues with my freaking hard body. It just never ends with this thing. It has like 170 or 180 degree Mishimoto thermostat in it. Well, the thermostat's not opening. Um, the lower radiator hose is completely cold. The top one is boiling hot. Um, it's reading like 230 um, coolant temp. So we're gonna run to AutoZone. We're gonna pick up a Duralast one. We'll let this thing cool off. We'll come back, get it in. Um, but the truck's idling, it's doing good. Um, I don't know if Ted did anything. Uh, we did fix the, oil, the fuel pressure. It was at like 65 pounds from the other day when I was trying to adjust it by myself. Now it's at, at 42, where it's supposed to be. So it's looking better. It's idling, like I said, but we're getting hot right now. So we're gonna get a thermostat, put a thermostat in it. Hopefully that fixes it. It has a Gates high flow water pump on it as well. Could be another issue. Um, so we're gonna try thermostat and then we'll go from there. So we're gonna run AutoZone, Levi, Ted and I, and then we'll be back. All right, guys. So <clears throat> I made a mess but we got the thermostat in. We've been running the truck a little bit. It's doing a lot better. Um, it's actually doing pretty amazing. We're staying at about 150 degrees for our coolant temp, which is awesome. That was a, I know we're not driving it. We're not doing anything like it's just sitting here, but 150 degrees like sitting in Arizona is amazing. Um, and that was a problem that I had when I turboed my truck like Bose was I had a lot of overheating problems. So we got that done. Not that you can see it. Oh, wrong way. Not that you can see in there, but there's a new thermostat gasket in there and new thermostat. Um, the way you can tell is all this coolant. Um, so the next thing we did, the next thing we did after that was uh, we started cleaning up the tune. The truck idles pretty good. We're getting it down to about 1100 RPM. Um, which is the best it's been But we started having a lean issue where it was it was running super lean. We couldn't figure out the truck just didn't want to run um, Well, it was out of gas So we just got gas. We just had lunch and now we're gonna get back at it um, It's going pretty good Let's see what what Ted has to say uh, So what do you think Ted? Um, it's chugging along. We're getting where it needs to go. I think it's getting better, right? Yep so it actually idles, which is nice. And all you've done is kind of leaned it out. Yep. So more of that, like more of the same. And then hopefully we'll be able to drive it by the end of the day and I can drive it around for a couple weeks and then we can go get some real tuning done. And then after some real tuning, we'll stick it on the dyno with the tune that it has. And then we'll find somebody up in Phoenix that can do a little more tune and we'll get the kill tune and try to make this 500 horse. All right, guys. So 
after a lot of work, we got out here at like 10 this morning. It's two now. Um, and we've just been tuning and dealing with issues, obviously the cooling issue and this and that. Anyways, we just went and drove the truck for the longest I've driven it in a while. We were probably out there a good 10 minutes just cruising, going through the RPM, shifting gears, all this, and it was perfect, perfect. Um, it was a little rich until it got a huge misfire and the truck didn't want to run and it's not happy. But it's because we burned a spark plug wire. Uh, let me show you this. Let me get in here. Oh, wrong way. Let me get in here. So it is this one. See that? Yep, looks good. It's freaking hot. So I am going to build a heat shield tomorrow. Bo bought that, that thin aluminum right here. Remember this we used on his underglow? So I'm going to use that. I want to make some heat shielding. Um, I'm going to make some wire management to manage my spark plug wires up against the valve cover. We're going to protect the coil packs and protect the brake master. So it'll go like in between here, up over there, and then maybe a little bit this way. So it'll be like a box around the turbo. We'll put a bunch of gold tape on it and all that kind of stuff. It probably burned two spark plug wires because there's another spark plug wire that's touching the, uh, um, let me get you up. It's touching the, the turbo blanket. So it probably burnt that one too. So I got to make two new spark plug wires most likely. Build a heat shield. And then we should be able to start driving this thing, getting it broken, getting alignment done, and then get it tuned. So we're getting so close. We actually have a driving truck, which is awesome. I mean, I could drive right now. It's just missing like crazy on cylinder three. Um, but anyways, yeah, say thanks to Ted, guys. Without Ted, I couldn't have done any of this. Um, Bo might have been able to help me, but Bo has limited knowledge. Um, we kind of both know the same thing. Like, okay, there's some numbers. Change the numbers, see what happens. Um, but Ted's done this before. His car right out there, that Outback. It's turboed um, in a T build and whatever, whatever. We're probably going to do a video on it at some point in time, at some point in time in the future. I don't know when. <laughs> but anyways, um, thanks for hanging out, guys. We'll see you later.